So this is another bag that I cannot seem to find on YouTube. This is the Tactical Tailor M5 uh, aid bag or medic bag. I'm not sure about the nomenclature. And this is it next to my uh, NAR uh, 5. So it's a little bit smaller of a bag. It's a little bit thicker. This one's definitely thinner. This one's a little bit thicker. Enjoy the kitty here. Uh, uh, let's just uh, take a quick look at it. Because I, I couldn't find it anywhere when I was trying to do my research for picking it up. It is... I think it's 16 by 9 by 7. And it has a, a pretty good opening design so it does come with a buckle uh, that's not detachable that's not hideable this clips on uh, so I guess that's quick detach um, the straps don't match the color uh, I'm not sure about other models available I got this one for 60 bucks on eBay I taped up my name here I have a same kind this is not uh, stock. I added these to the zippers. Um, it has a pretty good lip on it for rain, I'm assuming. The bag is a pretty thick material. It's kind of like a 1000D, I'm assuming. I couldn't tell you the statistics. Uh, now for opening of it, it, it does have a pretty good feature where if I hold down and pull, it'll open. Some bags will get hung up. I have it full of just miscellaneous stuff, uh, nothing major. Um, it's not stocked yet. I need to go pick up some supplies from the cage and from work and uh, pack it out. But uh, no other videos exist of this thing, so I figured I'd make one. Uh, let's see, so there is a hidden pocket here. I couldn't really find any information on it, but if you unzip here, this zipper goes all the way around and exposes uh, a hidden pocket. And I have Sam splints in it to keep the framework, but the zipper goes all the way back to there. There's some Velcro in the back here. If I can get that up in the light. There's two panels of Velcro here. Uh, I couldn't... You can go on the... You can go on the... Tactical Tailor website and find the exact orientation of everything. They still sell this. It's about a $200 bag. And I wasn't paying that much for something that I thought was this small. Looking at the measurements... They have it as 16 by 9 by 7, and I felt that was too small, so I didn't want to drop $200 on a new aid bag, so I got this one for 60 off of eBay in pretty good condition. Uh, but you can find all the specifics on the website. Um, cat approved. So I have two pockets here. I think they all... Ow, it's biting me. Um, okay, so we're not going to open it, but... Uh, as you can see, there's a uh, cat butt, and this is homemade. I did these um, to help open. It's not connected here. That is a uh, divided sewn line. It's not two pockets that can be connected on the inside. It is... Or it's not one pocket. I'm sorry. The cast distracted me. It's a little bit bigger on the top, I think, than on the bottom. Uh, I just have some basic uh, sick call stuff. I have a stethoscope up here with a notepad. Uh, I can fit a Littman Master Cardiology, so I guess that's a size perspective for the pocket. But I just wanted to get a good video out here, uh, make it quicker than my previous videos. Just displaying some of the things about this pack because nobody nobody seems to make any videos about it. Um, 
nothing really remarkable about the pack. Uh, it's considerably, considerably small, but maybe that's a charm to it. I anticipate on using it as a aid bag and primarily keeping it in the truck is kind of like a outdoors bag, something orientated for kayaking, mountain climbing, uh, 